Hello everyone, welcome to RPG videos for developers. In this video, we are going to talk about API product and environment relation. Myself, Funnel Sagar, I work at RPG. To follow this video, you need an RPG Edge account, which is free. You can register at enterprise.rpg.com. In this video, we are going to see what is the relation between API products and environment and what happens when you choose different environments while creating a product. Let's get started. I have an RPG Edge account here. Uh, to get started, we are going to create a new proxy. I'm going to point this proxy to the mark target. Uh, that will give you a sample JSON. So I'm going to call it as a proxy uh, API hello2. I'm going to create this proxy uh, uh, without any security as a pass through proxy. And then we're going to add a uh, few security policies to demonstrate our uh, product and uh, the uh, environment relation. We are going to deploy this proxy in both the environments, prod and test. Let's build the proxy and uh, create uh, the API proxy. So we just created API hello to proxy. As you can see, it is deployed in both the environments, uh, test and prod. Uh, so environments are useful if you want to test your proxy, uh, if you want to do development in different environments and push the proxy to the production environment. As you can see, uh, this is product environment and it'll deport life on prod.apg.net and it'll deport life on test.apg.net. Let's quickly create a product. We are going to create a product called uh, API Hello. And I'm going to choose the environment as test uh, to see how the environment and the API product relation works. I'm going to add the proxy that we created, which is uh, API Hello 2 and uh, resources. We're going to add while creating the product. Let's create the product. So we just created a product called API Hello and now we are going to create an app. So let's quickly create an app. Let's say Hello app. So we are going to publish and develop our apps and uh, we are going to create a new app. So I'm going to create a Hello app and I'm going to select developer. And uh, we are going to add a product that we just created which is API Hello. As you can see, when you create a uh, developer app, you will get the keys which you can use to secure the uh, API proxy. So we are going to use the keys and um, secure the proxy that we just created. So uh, let's uh, update the proxy that we created and add a verify API key policy. And uh, we are going to use uh, the keys to access the API securely. So I just... Uh, uh, going to add, I'm just going to add uh, the verify key PLC. See, so once the proxy is saved, uh, uh, we need to access the API while supplying an API key from the developer app that we have created. So let's uh, take key and uh, once the proxy is saved, we no longer access uh, the proxy directly without any uh, security credentials. So as you can see, the proxy is saved. Uh, uh, as you can see, when you access the proxy in both environments, we see failed to resolve the API key. Now let's uh, view the key from the app that we created. As you can see, uh, when you make a call in prod, it says invalid API key. But uh, when you make the same call in the test environment, we get the response because the reason is the product that we created is is uh, is only applicable for uh, the test environment but not the top product environment so the keys that are generated and associated with the product uh, is applicable only for that particular environment so the product and the environment relation is if you generate any tokens or if you generate any api keys then those will be applicable only to the product to the environments that you selected as you can see api hello as only environment test that is the reason you are able to access the test environment through the api key that is associated with that particular product but if you use the same api key in product environment it gives invalid api let's uh, go ahead and make the change let's include product environment also 
and save the API product. Now, if you create a new developer app, uh, then uh, you will see uh, the same API key working for uh, both environments, right? So let's create a new developer app. So I'm going to create a new developer app uh, called Hello App Two. So I'm going to create a new app called uh, Hello App Two, and to the same product. API okay, Hello. So we got that, hello app2, let's uh, use the key in uh, our environment. Now as you can see, uh, let's do this, uh, I think it, it takes few minutes because uh, the products are uh, cached. Uh, so that's the reason it's picking still uh, the test environment. So once, uh, after a few minutes, once the uh, product is synced, as you can see, you can see the, both, the same key working for both environments, right? So hope uh, uh, you understand the relation between uh, the product and uh, uh, keys and environment. Uh, keep us posted if you have any questions in um, community.apg.com. Thank you for watching this video.